since 2008, at least 10 times. Um, I know many of you have been here every time. And in fact, this place is so familiar that I've added the rooftop snipers to my Christmas card list. <laughs> but it is always a pleasure to stand with you to expose the nastiest criminal organization of modern times. So for, for 100 years, the Fed has plundered the world and financed the slaughter of countless millions. When it comes to death, destruction, and theft, the Fed has very few rivals. Yet only a small minority are actually aware of this. You, you're actually, you can't help but be impressed with this 100-year crime spree. And I have to admit that when we started having these, the obstacles in our way, to me, seemed insurmountable. I mean, how could we possibly disrupt an institution whose tentacles entangle so much of our society? An institution that is the lifeblood of the ruling class. An institution that can harvest the wealth of the world and use it to finance an army against us. Little did I know that in just a few years, we would actually be celebrating the end of central banking. And it wasn't a, a key election that turned the tide. It wasn't an audit the Fed bill in Congress. It wasn't an armed rebellion. It wasn't even Ron Paul. We didn't even have to convince the majority that the Fed was evil. So when your grandkids ask, you can tell them that entrepreneurs killed the Fed. Woo! Yay! Entrepreneurs ended the era of banker rule. It was some geeky free marketeers who broke the currency monopoly and ended the century of total war. It took 200 years for the postal monopoly to be broken by email. It took 70 years for web video to break the FCC's control of television. It's taken 100 years, but just as information was freed by the internet, currency is also becoming free. Of course, I'm talking about the dawn of decentralized cryptocurrencies. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Now, Bitcoin is just the start. Peer-to-peer -peer systems are rendering centralized control systems obsolete. I couldn't be more thrilled about this development. This is an incredible time. Look around you. Remember these faces. Pay attention to the details because I have no doubt that we are participating in one of history's most significant paradigm changes. This is an advance on par with the internal combustion engine and the internet. The shift from centralized control to peer-to-peer -peer systems is more than a technology shift. It's a cultural shift with profound implications. And we get to be part of this. We get to fan the flames. I can't think of a better reason to celebrate. So don't get me wrong, the Fed is mortally wounded, but it's still gonna do some damage in its final death throes. We don't know how long it's gonna take to bleed out, but it's hemorrhaging. It won't go down without a final temper tantrum. Watch them try some desperate end stage looting. But there is no mathematical way that the Fed can survive the peer-to-peer -peer revolution. Yeah. So we don't know how long it's gonna take. You know, they, they say uh, predictions are very tough, especially about the future. <laughs> uh, but the, f the future has no central banks to fund these powerful central governments and their endless wars. So even the internet itself is growing more resilient and decentralized. I don't think Al Gore would have invented the internet if he had known where this was headed. <laughs> the blockchain is a shared ledger of Bitcoin transactions. No central server maintains it. Copies are shared across a peer-to-peer -peer network. This is what makes Bitcoin unstoppable. 
Now, there is no central point of weakness to exploit. Now, this concept is spreading beyond a simple ledger of financial transactions. Already, a similar blockchain is in place designed to bypass the state-controlled internet DNS system. Yep. That's the system that allows a web address to connect to a particular website. Currently, the central state powers have the ability to shut down a domain if they disagree with the website content. Ooh. State access to the central DNS system gives them this power. However, some very clever people figured out that the blockchain could also be used to store DNS information in a decentralized fashion. When complete, this breakthrough has the power to render government sensors impotent. Check out Namecoin or research the .bit domain for more information on that. So imagine what the world will look like with a free exchange of information, a free currency, and the, and the ability to easily conduct commerce with any individual anywhere in the world without taxes, bank fees and regulations, inflation, or parasitic politicians getting in the way. Woo! Yeah. This will be a new renaissance. The biggest obstacle we have right now is the belief in government schooling. So when this wave of decentralization reaches education, we're going to see a new era of prosperity that has never been previously imagined. The future will have little need for central authorities. The culture of, of obedience is being subverted by peer-to-peer -peer culture. Individuality is destroying collectivism. The entrenched powers are stockpiling billions of rounds of ammo, tanks and drones, but remember, government is always preparing for the last war. These stockpiles will be useless against the ideas that have already been released. So congratulations. You did it. Like some blowout whale on a beach on some dis distant deserted shore. So now we get to celebrate, but our work has just begun. Opportunities to build the counter economy have never been better. When the slave dollar is finally rejected as the world's reserve currency, things are going to get tough in the U.S. But what if there was already a parallel free market currency infrastructure already in place? challenge is to help build that world. So when the slave dollar collapses, nobody really cares. It's Woo! already happening. So let's be part of it. The next phase of getting away from the Fed won't involve rallies like this. The time for street demonstrations is over. Now we get to build stuff. We get to invent or reinvent our businesses to take advantage of the new peer-to-peer -peer culture. As entrepreneurs, we get to build a world that truly ignores the Fed. Woo! So let's get to work. Yeah! yeah.